Your attitude, not your aptitude, will determine your altitude. The greatest gift you can give yourself is to change your attitude. If you don't like how things are, change it. You're not a tree. Attitude is the library of our experiences. It's how we view the world and the world views us in return. Success is nothing more than a few simple disciplines practiced every day. Attitude is one of those disciplines. Our lives are profoundly shaped by what we know and how we feel. Knowledge dictates our decisions while our feelings steer our attitudes. Philosophy engages with the logical aspects, our information and thinking patterns, while attitude delves into the emotional currents that influence our existence. What we know sets our philosophy, but how we feel about it molds our attitude. Consider this, thoughts and emotions have the power to drive us towards great success or lead us to disaster. Our feelings about people, work, home, finances, and the world around us form our attitude. With the right attitude, we can achieve remarkable feats. With the wrong one, even the smallest challenge can overwhelm us. The right attitude is fundamental to a fulfilling life. It's crucial to continuously reflect on our feelings about our role in the world and our potential to achieve our dreams. To create a brighter future, we must confront our emotions about the past, present, and future. The past. View your past as a school rather than a weapon. Instead of dwelling on regrets and failures, see the past as a series of lessons. Every misstep and success is part of your education. Just as you wouldn't chastise yourself for a poor exam performance but use it as a learning opportunity, approach past errors with the same mindset. For example, if a business venture didn't pan out, don't dwell on the failure. Instead, analyze what went wrong, adjust your approach, and use those insights for future endeavors. This shift in perspective turns past failures into stepping stones toward future success. Acceptance of the past is liberating. It allows us to move forward rather than be shackled by regret. Embrace the lessons from the past and let them guide you toward a brighter future. Shift your attitude from regret to growth and you'll be positioned to seize every opportunity that comes your way. The present. The present moment is where transformation begins. Our past gifts us with experiences, but it's in the now that we apply those lessons. Each day offers us 1,440 minutes, 86,400 ticks of the clock. Time is impartial. It provides a blank slate and asks, what will you do with me? How we use it today depends on our attitude. With the right mindset, we can turn each day into a stepping stone toward our goals. Approach today with enthusiasm and purpose, and you'll set the stage for meaningful progress. If you let today slip by like yesterday, you miss the chance for growth. Remember, how you spend today shapes your tomorrow. Embrace each day with a positive outlook, and you unlock your potential for great achievements. This attitude of seizing the present will lead you toward a future filled with promise and success. The future will, and Ariel Durant wisely stated, to endure what is, we must remember what was and dream of things as they will one day be. Our attitude toward the future connects our past experiences with our present mindset and future aspirations. Each of us possesses the remarkable ability to dream and create our future. If you can envision it, you have the potential to achieve it. This isn't mere fantasy, but a profound truth about human potential. Just as our bodies thrive with proper care, our minds can achieve success when guided by a positive attitude. However, belief in our potential is crucial. Dreaming isn't enough. We must believe those dreams can come true. Shift your attitude from being constrained by past setbacks to focusing on positive possibilities. Embrace an optimistic mindset and you align your actions with your dreams. This attitude fosters progress and sets the stage for the rewards that come from persistent effort and belief. The exciting truth is that each of us has a huge amount of mental, spiritual, intellectual, and creative power within us. We all have the potential to achieve everything we dream of. This power is already inside us. We just need to recognize it, develop our talents, and use them. Often, what holds us back from seeing our gifts is how we think about ourselves. Why can we easily see the value in others? but struggle to see it in ourselves? Why do we celebrate others' successes but find it hard to acknowledge our own? 
This is a matter of choice. Understanding and appreciating our uniqueness is essential. Many people feel they aren't enough because they don't know who they are. If we fully recognized our strengths, abilities, sense of humor, and unique achievements, we wouldn't doubt our ability to build a better future. Every person is unique. There is no one else like you. We each bring something special to the world. What we do might not always win awards or public recognition, but it still makes a difference. We strengthen our families, improve our workplaces, and enrich our communities just by being ourselves. Changing how we feel about ourselves starts with changing our view of our worth. Often we are so busy that we don't take the time to appreciate what we achieve each day. This lack of self-appreciation comes from not being fully aware of ourselves. Self-awareness is crucial. When we understand who we are, we make better choices, which lead to better results and a better attitude. This cycle of self-awareness, improved choices, and positive outcomes is key to personal growth. So, take time to reflect on what makes you unique and what you've achieved. Recognize your worth and embrace your potential. As you do this, you'll see your attitude change, your confidence grow, and you'll be better prepared to create a brighter future for yourself. Embrace your potential and you'll unlock a world of opportunities. The journey of personal transformation begins from within. Each of us is endowed with immense potential and a deep-seated desire to achieve meaningful results from our efforts. We're all willing to put in the hard work and pay the necessary price to attain success and happiness. But there is one critical factor that determines how far we can go, how intensely we pursue our goals, and the quality of the results we achieve, our attitude. Our attitude is the key to unlocking our potential. It influences every aspect of our lives, shaping our actions and outcomes. No one else on this planet has control over our attitude except us. While others may influence us through poor thinking habits, misinformation, or negative environments, ultimately, we hold the power to govern our attitude. No one makes us angry or upsets us. These are choices we make ourselves when we allow our attitude to be swayed. The actions or words of others are merely tests of our resolve. If we respond to these tests with hostility, anger, or jealousy, we fail the test. Similarly, if we judge ourselves harshly and believe we are unworthy, we again fail the test. To truly care about our future and our well-being, we must take full responsibility for our feelings and reactions. We need to guard against attitudes that lead us astray and cultivate those that guide us toward a brighter future. This involves being mindful of how our thoughts and feelings can shape our attitudes and consequently our lives. If we want to enjoy the rewards that the future holds, we must exercise our greatest gift, the ability to control our attitude. Treat your attitude as the valuable asset it is. Protect it from negativity, nurture it with positivity, and it will serve you well. By maintaining dominion over your attitude, you position yourself to reap the rewards of a successful and fulfilling future. Different professions demand different levels of risk. There's a timeless principle, no risk, no reward. It's up to you to decide how much risk you're willing to take with your life, your future, and your money. Ambition and risk go hand in hand. Salespeople, for instance, tend to handle risk better than managers or professionals. Entrepreneurs, they're even more risk-oriented. They must let their ambition outweigh the fear of losing it all in pursuit of their dreams. Your ambition might not always match your willingness to take risks. Many people falter in the face of failure even the ambitious ones. Only a few possess the tenacity, grit, and resolve to chase risky ambitions. No matter the level of your ambition or risk, you must have the discipline to overcome failures and keep striving toward your goals. The first step is to set a plan. It might not be perfect, but it's a start. As you follow this plan, the money you save today will help pave the way to your financial independence tomorrow. And with financial independence comes a freedom you've never known before. The freedom to live where you choose, do what you love, go where you wish, drive the car you desire, and support the causes that matter to you. Financial independence brings freedom of choice. It's natural to worry, but let worry be your guide, not your captor. If it's 2 a.m. and your daughter isn't home, worry a little. If a taxi is speeding towards you, be cautious. But don't let worry take over your life. Push your doubts, fears, 
and indifference into a corner and keep them there. Life is about taking chances. You don't have to be reckless, but you do need to plant in the spring to harvest in the fall. If you're concerned about winter storms or potential failures, remember, what if it works out? Don't let fear of failure stop you from pursuing success. Some folks are so cautious, they never achieve much. While you can be too reckless, you can also be overly timid. This timid approach can paralyze you. I used to be driven mad by risk asking, what if this happens? But I learned that life is inherently risky. From the moment you're born, you're living in a world of risk. If you think trying is risky, wait until you see the cost of not trying. If you think investigating is risky, consider the cost of not investing. Everything involves risk, marriage, children, business, and investments. If you seek only safety and security, you might end up living a limited life. It's better to embrace adventure and live fully, even if it's shorter. Pessimism is a dangerous mindset that focuses on the negative, always searching for reasons why something won't work. Pessimists live unhappy lives, finding delight in failure. They see the glass as half empty, while optimists see it as half full. Your perception of life, whether positive or negative, shapes your experiences. One of the most important lessons is that poor thinking habits keep people poor, not poor working habits. The mind is like a factory. What you think about all day influences the outcome of your life. Start each day with a positive mindset and avoid negative influences. What you consume mentally shapes your life. To build a successful life, choose positive thoughts and exclude the negative. Thought is the starting point of everything. Guard your mind carefully. Complaining, whining, and griping only waste time and led to what I call economic cancer. Consider the story of the Israelites in the desert. Despite their liberation from slavery and their journey toward the promised land, they never reached it because of constant complaining. This illustrates the importance of overcoming negativity and striving for improvement. You can't drift to the top of a mountain. You have to climb steadily and consistently. Fight indifference and seize every opportunity. Life is brief, so make the most of every moment with family, friends, and personal growth. Opportunities come and go, and you must seize them while they're available. Life is a blend of both positive and negative experiences. Embrace both, for they contribute to the richness of your journey. Life's greatest lessons come from navigating both the highs and the lows. In conclusion, your attitude is a treasure. It's a powerful force that can either propel you forward or hold you back. Cherish it, cultivate it, and let it guide you toward the future you envision. Your attitude is your greatest asset. Make sure it works for you. Our attitude is the thread that weaves together our experiences, shaping the patterns of our success and fulfillment. It is the silent architect of our destiny, influencing how we perceive and react to the world around us. As we've explored, attitude is not just a fleeting sentiment, but a powerful force that determines the trajectory of our lives. Understanding the significance of our attitude is the first step toward harnessing its full potential. By recognizing that our attitude is within our control, we empower ourselves to create the life we desire. Whether we are reflecting on our past, engaging with the present, or dreaming about the future, our attitude plays a crucial role in transforming our vision into reality. When we approach life with a positive, resilient attitude, we unlock doors to opportunities that might otherwise remain closed. We become architects of our fate, sculpting our paths with the tools of determination, self-belief, and perseverance. Each challenge becomes a stepping stone, and every success reinforces the power of a well-nurtured attitude. Remember, your attitude is not merely a response to the world. It is a proactive choice that shapes your world. By embracing this truth, you can navigate the complexities of life with grace and confidence, continually refining your approach and striving for excellence. So, as you move forward, carry with you the knowledge that your attitude is your greatest ally. Protect it, cultivate it, and let it guide you toward your highest aspirations. The future is a canvas, and your attitude is the brush. Paint it with bold strokes of optimism and courage and watch as your life transforms into a masterpiece of your own making.